Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Cole. It is Sunday afternoon, November 7th. We're now embarking on week 13 of Con Law, Political Science 3753 for the fall term. Everyone, we are finishing up with freedom of religion this week. We've been conducting a discussion that will run for another day or two, I believe, with regard to the views of influential New York Times columnist Linda Greenhouse, and I've been interested to hear what you all think of her views. We have quiz number six coming up Wednesday. Now, you've been asked to read a pro and con discussion about religious freedom from the Wall Street Journal. And all ten of your true false items will come from those two articles. One that says, yes, relig religious freedom is in danger. The other, no, it is not. Okay? Now, everyone, as you look at this material, there are a couple of Supreme Court decisions I'd like you to keep in mind that are discussed in our class notes for Lecture 23, I believe. Uh, the Masterpiece Cake Shop decision, which is very recent, just from a couple of years ago. And even more important, going back a couple of decades to the 1990s, I believe, Employment Division versus Smith. And then after you read about Employment Division versus Smith, you'll also see some discussion of the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, which is also discussed in the two articles that you'll be reading for the quiz on Wednesday. Now, what's at issue here is when and whether we want to grant an exemption for religious reasons from an otherwise generally applicable law. Okay? We'll think about whether or not, or in one circumstances, you would want to grant an exemption like that. And many, many different examples are covered in the articles and in the class notes. It's an especially sensitive question with regard to the rights of people from the LGBT community. That's what was involved in the Masterpiece Cake Shop case involving a cake decorator from the Denver, Colorado area that the Supreme Court decided a couple of years ago on relatively narrow grounds. All right, so keep that decision in mind. Masterpiece Cake Shop and especially Employment Division versus Smith as you look at that material, especially the uh, material for the quiz on Wednesday. Quiz number six. Now, after that, everybody, we'll be finished with freedom of religion, and we're going to be trying to get the class notes for lectures 25, 26, and 27 up on the course website this week. We have three sets of notes for this unit instead of two because it's a big topic. These are 14th Amendment issues, equal protection issues, you might say. And they very often, if not always, involve racial discrimination issues. Right, so that's the material with which we'll be closing out the course. Uh, lectures, class notes for lectures 25, 26, and 27, which are not yet up on the course website, but I hope to have them up in a couple of days. Okay. Equal protection, racial discrimination, 14th Amendment issues. That should be up on the course website in a couple of days. Now, after the quiz on Wednesday, I'm going to try to get material up for a discussion the following week, sometime during the week of the 15th, and then we'll come back and take quiz number seven, our last quiz, after Thanksgiving break. I'll be talking to you again a week from now at this time. Then we'll take a break for a week because we'll be going on Thanksgiving break beginning, I believe, Monday the 22nd, and then we'll have two more messages for you after Thanksgiving break. The last of those will be coming before the final exam. Now, everybody, we have about five weeks of school left. Okay. We will do two more weeks, take a break for Thanksgiving, and then two more weeks after that, and the second of those weeks is exam week. Everyone, please keep in mind, if there are quizzes or discussions that you need to make up, please contact me. Remember, the way it works is your scores on five of the seven quizzes and five of the seven discussions will be counted. So if you have missed any, you may or may not feel that you need to make them up. If your scores on at least five of those quizzes and discussions were satisfactory to you. Okay? Keep in mind also, 
everybody, we've stipulated that to be on the A track for the course, to be eligible for an A, you must turn in a term paper related to one or more Supreme Court decisions. Now, I've sent a list of decisions out. Everybody should have that. Contact me if you do not have it. Okay. Listing, oh, 20, 30, 40 recent Supreme Court decisions. Okay, so I hope that there will be something on that list of, of interest to everybody. It could be one decision or perhaps one or two or a handful that are related if you choose to handle it that way. Okay, and if there's something you're interested in that is not on that list that I sent out, contact me. It would be advisable to contact me about the choice of topic before you start in working on the paper. Remember, it's not required, but it is required if you want to be on the A track for the course. To be eligible to make an A, you must turn a paper in. You don't necessarily have to make an A on the paper to make an A in the course, but you must turn such a paper in. All right? Okay, so the course then is, the term is coming to a close. We have about five more weeks. Two weeks, a Thanksgiving break, and then another two weeks, including exam week. So term papers and late work that needs to be made up, quizzes that need to be retaken or taken if you did not take them the first time around. Please contact me about that, and I'll try to make arrangements for you. Otherwise, we'll be talking to you again one more time before Thanksgiving break, about a week from now. So good luck on that quiz, and after that, you'll need to be getting to work on the Equal Protection 14th Amendment material, lecture notes, class notes for lectures 25, 26, and 27, which should be up on the course website soon. So good luck on that quiz, study hard, and we'll talk to you in another week or so.